engine at full thrust. SRB chamber pressure nominal. Now 10 seconds in the flight, vehicles begun the pitch over maneuver. Body rate responses look good. Now 20 seconds in. RD-180 propellant utilization system has gone to closed loop control system. Response looks good. Now passing 30 seconds into flight. Vehicles completing the pitch over maneuver. Body rate responses continue to look good. Engine operating parameters continue to look good. SRB chamber pressure uh, within expected ranges. Now coming up on 58 seconds into flight, Mach 1 Atlas 5 is now supersonic. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. SRB chamber pressure looks good. Now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Body rates continue to look good throughout boost phase. Now three minutes remaining in the booster phase of flight. Now passing one minute, 30 seconds into flight, SRB chamber pressure tailing off now as SRBs are burning out. And we have SRB burnout. RD-180 throttling down slightly as expected. Engine response looks good. Now passing one minute, 50 seconds into flight, body rates continue to look good throughout boost phase. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Now two minutes into flight, we have good indication of jettison of the SRB. The Atlas V now weighs one half of its liftoff weight. And vehicle has gone to closed loop steering. Body rates look good. Two minutes remaining in the booster phase of flight. Atlas V is now 38 miles in altitude, 35 miles downrange distance, traveling at 4,200 miles per hour. Now two minutes, 40 seconds into flight. RD-180 pump speeds and injector pressures continue to look good. Body rates continuing to look good throughout boost phase. Now passing three minutes into flight. And Centaur Reaction Control System is now pressurizing the flight levels. RD-180 now throttling down to maintain a constant 2.5 G acceleration limit. Engine response looks good as it's maintaining that uh, 2.5 G acceleration limit. Now one minute remaining until BECO. And standing by for payload fairing jettison. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. And we have CFLR jettison. Now three minutes, 50 seconds into flight. Body rate's continuing to look good. And RD-180 now throttling to maintain a constant 4.6 G acceleration limit. And we've begun boost phase chill down. And standing by for booster engine cutoff shortly. And we have BECO booster engine cutoff standing by for stage set. We have good indication of Atlas Centaur separation. We have pre-start on the RL-10. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL-10. Chamber pressure looks good. Body rates look good. And this first burn of today's mission will last approximately eight and a half minutes. Now passing five minutes into flight. 
Centaur's gone to closed loop steering. Body rates continue to look good. And the RCS system has begun initial thruster firings for thermal conditioning as expected. Centaur is now 140 miles in altitude, 420 miles downrange distance, traveling at 11,800 miles per hour. Centaur operating parameters continue to look nominal throughout the early part of this first burn. And body rates continue to look stable. And initial review of booster performance shows the booster performs slightly above nominal. Now six minutes, 30 seconds into flight, Centaur is 173 miles in altitude, 680 miles downrange distance, traveling at 12,400 miles per hour. All time performance continues to look nominal throughout this first burn and continues to see periodic thruster activity as expected. Body rates continue to look good. Now passing eight minutes into flight. Centaur systems all continuing to operate nominally throughout this first burn. RL10 chamber pressure uh, stable. Vehicle body rates are all close to null. And telemetry quality is uh, been very good throughout boost phase and through in, into this first burn. Standing by for cutoff. And we have Miko. Standing by for ignition. We have ignition and full thrust. Standing by for Miko. And we have Miko, main engine cutoff. Body rates recovered nicely from the cutoff transient. Centaurs engaged 100% 4S. We have ignition and full thrust on the RL10. Chamber pressure looks good. And we have Miko, main engine cutoff.